Hey everyone, this is going to be a fun video. Uh, we're talking about Ocarina of Time, Ocarina of Time, however you wish to pronounce it, pronounce it, enunciate it, ha, whatever the case might be, and the potential of this game being in, well, what I am dubbing for now, The Legend of Zelda 3D All-Stars. Now, we don't know that this collection is even going to happen. The reason that we think a Zelda collection is going to happen for the 35th anniversary of Zelda is because it happened for Mario. They did Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Plus, we know about two HD Zelda games, or former Zelda games that were put into HD on Wii U that have yet to be ported over to Nintendo Switch in the Wind Waker HD and Twilight Princess HD. And it would make sense if they were holding those games back to do a collection pack for, well... 2021 for the 35th anniversary after all nintendo does have a history of celebrating the zelda anniversary every five years ever since the 20th anniversary of the zelda series so 20th 25th 30th and 35th they have done something special every single time so it would make sense for them to do a collection now obviously including those two HD games uh, would be kind of a, a, a given and the way that N Nintendo handled Super Mario 3D All-Stars I guess you can almost expect it because it's kind of simple to do and kind of I'm not going to say lazy it's just easy for Nintendo to do uh, so it's just an easy cash grab for them however if they really want to sweeten the pot they can make it a three pack and include a game that's never been put in HD before and when you look at the history of 3D Zelda games, or at least what is considered a traditional 3D Zelda game, uh, you have to look at things like Ocarina of Time because that was the very first one of that type. Yes, The Legend of Zelda on the NES is the first Zelda game, but Ocarina of Time was the first 3D, you know, at least what we consider to be 3D Zelda game on consoles back in 1998 on Nintendo 64. Now, they have actually remade this game, or remastered might be a better term for it uh this game one other time on the nintendo 3ds with ocarina of time 3d in fact it was a massive seller in the summer of 2011 it was one of the primary reasons to even own a 3ds back then because the 3ds launch lineup that happened earlier in the spring really wasn't that great uh really from ocarina of time all the way up until mario kart I think it was 7 at the time that released later that year, that those kind of became the tentpole games to buy a 3DS uh, in that first year, and then obviously things kind of took off for there for 3DS. So we've seen this game remade before, but what you're seeing on screen and what you've seen since I started talking about it is something that many of you might not have seen before. And this is what Ocarina of Time could look like if Nintendo decided to really go all out in remastering this game. Uh, and this is really really cool before i describe more about it enjoy what you're seeing uh we are giving away a nintendo switch a playstation 5 or an xbox series x head down to the description or the pinned comment for more information now this is a unreal engine for remastering remake a re remake is probably more correct to say here of ocarina of time it is not complete it has been in the work for years I mean, it might, it might be five, six, seven years at this point. Uh, it is created by a YouTuber named Kryzen X. Now, he doesn't put out a lot of videos. He doesn't put out videos very often on this project. He has a Patreon with a bunch of supporters on it. Uh, but when he does release uh, videos, it looks amazing. And you're seeing, uh, you know, a lot going on right now from everything from all the way over at the uh, cathedral area uh, into... The marketplace, and then obviously a lot of time spent in Kakariko Village, uh, which has mostly uh, all the stuff that you expect to see uh, from the original game with a few additions thanks to patrons. There's obviously a tribute uh, to Satura Awada you're going to see at some point if you haven't seen it already. And then obviously, um, you know, a patron got his name in there too for spending a certain amount on Patreon or got his character in there. So I think this is really neat, uh, and I think this shows what is possible if uh, Nintendo decided to go this route. Now, you might not like the art direction or the styling or exactly everything that Kryzen X did here. After all, this is just a fan remaking something in Unreal Engine 4. And yeah, it's kind of shocking Nintendo hasn't shut this down yet. Then again, this one you're seeing now, he has not made publicly available. So 
Typically what Kryzen X does when he makes these updates is he makes them available publicly to actually play. So you could download it and play it right on your computer if your computer can handle it. Uh, the thing is, this most recent one he put out, and he put this one out six months ago, this video, he did not include a download for it. Now, I'm sure the patrons probably have a, access to the download, but uh, there's not a publicly available download for it. He promised there would be a update, you know, quote unquote soon, and it's been half a year, so who knows when that update's coming. But uh, I find this to be a really, really amazing project uh, that you can't play this version right now, but I'll put a link to his YouTube channel. You can go through some of his older updates and you could find um, older versions of it that are playable. I think update five in particular, uh, definitely that's over a year old, has a playable version uh, in there. It's not going to be, you know, not going to have all the NPCs and all the interactions and stuff because uh, most of the versions he has of this doesn't include NPCs, but this one did. Uh, I, it's just amazing to me uh, that this is just just one fan on his own what he's doing imagine what nintendo could do if they remade ocarina of time for zelda 3d all-stars i'm not saying they are doing it but would it not be cool it is not looking at this fan project making you wonder what if what if nintendo went all out for this 35th anniversary for zelda and went beyond what they did with mario 3d all-stars and instead of giving us an emulated hd version of either the original n64 game or the 3ds version of it what if they actually went all out and fully redid this game now my only caveat to thinking nintendo might do this is this looks so good from a fan doing it that if nintendo went all out and did this would they really throw it in a three-pack? Would they not release Ocarina of Time on its own? If they're giving it the Final Fantasy VII Remake treatment, would they not release it on its own as a $60 premium game? I would presume they would. In fact, even if they did, I don't think anybody would complain because if you're going to remaster and remake something to this level of detail, uh, yeah, it's okay. People are going to be willing to pay $60 all over again let me tell you i know i would for sure as a massive zelda fan but still it would be kind of a nice nod to fans if they would include it in the three pack where basically you're buying ocarina of time uh you know hd whatever you want to call it and then you're being tossed you know the wind waker hd and try the princess hd since they technically already released those at 60 bucks on wii u of course we know nintendo they might release them again at 60 bucks i really i i, I don't know I don't honestly think Nintendo is going to do a remake, uh, especially to this level. I think it's more likely we just get, if Ocarina of Time is tossed in with the other two games, that we just get a, uh, you know, emulation HD version. And that's assuming we get this collection at all. Uh, sometimes, as fans, we have a tendency to get our hype up, our hype levels, like, super, super high for something that Nintendo never even told us they were going to do. So, I, I don't actually know what Nintendo is going to do for the 35th anniversary. And I think... Above all else, the only game that truly matters, like, at all in anything is Breath of the Wild 2. Yes, Breath of the Wild 2 is coming at some point. I hope it's coming this year. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not coming until 2022. Maybe it's coming later than that. I have no idea. So that is obviously the thing that matters the most. But it is fun to wonder. It is fun to imagine what Nintendo could be doing with a possible collection pack if they go the Super Mario 3D All-Stars route and create their own version of the Zelda 3D All-Stars and if they include something that's unexpected. At this point, I kind of expect the Wind Waker and Twilight Princess HD to come to us at some year in some form, hopefully in a collection pack. But what if, just what if, we are getting a, well, HD Ocarina of Time that's a bit more than just an emulated package. Oh boy. Oh freaking boy. Does it, it, it I got goosebumps over here. I wish I was on camera for you guys for you to see it. Uh, but I'm not because I wanted the, you guys to see as much of this uh, amazing, awesome, crazy X created uh, version of Ocarina of Time as you can. In fact, I'm going to put a link directly down to the rest of this video. It's a 28 minute long look at this if you want to see more otherwise thank you guys so much for tuning in you guys let me know your thoughts down below do you think uh this what this fan has done is what the direction you would like to see a possible ocarina of time remake go 
Is there other directions you wish it would go? Do you think this is even possible? Do you think Nintendo would even consider it? Or do you think Nintendo's even going to do a Zelda 3D All-Stars? Do you think they're going to release games individually? What do you think Nintendo's going to do? Uh, in particular, come on guys, 35th anniversary. At some point, Nintendo's got to do something with Ocarina of Time, right? Right? Like, it, it is a pivotal game in the Zelda series to the level of the original Legend of Zelda and, yes, Breath of the Wild. So... Something at some point needs to be done with it. All right, folks. I'm Nathaniel RoboJets from Nintendo Prime. Hope you enjoyed this video. Man, does this look good to me. I'll catch you guys in the next video.